Ruth here, and this is my Crafters Companion Hall number 13. Just a, a small one. And um, to be honest, I don't think Hall is really the right word when it's only a few things, but it's sort of a series now. Title series, so just keep it. <laughs> um, so I got these. And, well, it's not, I think it was on a little bit of a sale, maybe? Well, well yeah, probably, yeah, because like one of them's, three of them is $12.99, one of them is $9.99, and the total price was $24.48. I think this one was the one where I got the basket half off. Yeah. Anyway. Um, because I think the original price was 48 something. So anyway, first up, I guess, is the... These are the two new Easter collection. Um, let's see, we'll do this one first because it's on the end. This is the springtime scene. Now there is a four dies. So, lovely. And it's, um... The, um, I guess cut out a bit. Well, that's the dice we get. There, I can see it better. So, it says four pieces, so there's obviously two bunnies, and the, I guess, the cut in bit of the Easter egg, and the cut out bit. That makes much sense. If you're wondering, that is the code. Other code if you need it. I don't know. I mean, personally, I never really search by code. I just look at the. I just you know type the name. But uh, yes, it's a uh, three point seven by five inches. What is in centimeters? Well, that's the height of the die. Next up, we have the floral cross. So. This one and this one is $12.99. Oh, and this one too. That one was the $9.99. Uh, anyway, isn't that pretty? There are, I think it's supposed to be four different florals. Four different flowers, I think. There's like rose. Unless these two are roses and these two are the same flower, whatever they are. I can't tell life to us. Anyway, it's two dies. I guess. Very lovely. I was actually give this one over the other one that's in there. As you can see. Okay, so I have to pause for a bit because I had it was a time to say goodnight and mom came in. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the Country Lane Gateway to the Country Cut and Emboss Awesome Folder. But it cuts out the. What's the word? Gate? Yes. <laughs> gateway, gate. Anyway. So the bits, well not just the gate, cuts out this part as well. So you can open the gate and have a scene in the back. Pretty nifty, I do say so myself. Yeah, this is a uh, star signature collection as well. As it sort of says right there. Never mind. Anyway, yes.
feels like cutting edge ice. This is not a cutting edge, so it stays attached this way, but this is a cutting edge here. So if I it goes in this way, so it cuts down. Yeah, we go in this way. Other way. So it should be fun. Let's try it. And um I'll put the others off to the side so I can do yeah. thing. Okay, so and this. It's a nine by twelve point five inch plate. Technically, it's from a Gemini 2. I personally don't have a Gemini 2, or any of the Geminis. Because I have a, uh... Spellbinders Platinum. But, this will be perfect size to... Uh, well... Ooh! So I didn't realize... That's a Ziploc! Ooh! Very nice. Whoopsie. Totally missed. Anyway, that's nice. A Ziploc. I can put other things in here. Very nice. I don't think it's a 12. Yeah, obviously it's not a 12 by 12. It's like a, it was a 9 by 12 pouch, wasn't it? So I can use use that for something else <laughs> but this it should be the perfect size excuse me I'm hiccuping that's very nice and uh elastic -y like I can put my plates in here I think But will it fit all of them is the question. It does seem to be stretchy. Mm -hmm. Let's have the next thing. This is the uh, Spellbinders Universal Universal Plates. Well, the cutting plates definitely fit in there. That's it. And we got the shoe, the embossing mat, and the adapter plate. Let's put it in this way so the embossing mat doesn't flap out, flap about everywhere. So is that all of it? Yeah. Might as well put my instructions in there too. Well, you know, totally different is carrying workstation thing. So this I did try try out for a you newer know, cheapy one. It's not a magic mat, which I think I should get one I guess. But uh, I'll just put that in there for now, I guess. Closes. That's great. I bought it for the purpose of these because I didn't have a case for them. I didn't want it to be completely dusty or anything. I still had it in the uh, plastic it came in, which I thought was plastic. So I guess I can probably put this in the recycling now. Well, you should see how much plastic I've saved. So I, I like keep on thinking, oh, I can use this for a shaker card and everything, and. I haven't really made one with any, well, I made one or two, but uh, I still have loads I kind of saved, so I probably shouldn't save any more plastic until I've used it most of it. But yes. Now let's see if it'll fit in the carry 
like the station, I mean. Oh, and it fits back there just lovely. Uh, let me take this off the tripod a second. So I got this, you know, front wires and stuff. And I have it right here in that back pocket. Very good, very good. Nope. Okay. Back in. <clears throat> so yes, I, I put that there now. No, I don't want to move it. So. Yes. Should be interesting Easter guys to move that. And maybe this. Ooh, I could put some bunnies in there. Or something. Make some hills and put some buttons back there or something like that. That'd be cute. Okay, so. Um, currently, I have my embossing folders right there, which isn't quite good with everything in the way. So, by the way, uh, this is one of the medical surgeons I don't actually use. It comes in my, with what I have. Yeah, so that's perfect for putting water into into these little spectrum or the mystery things. It's like the the nozzle on the end. It's perfect size for this, surprisingly. Normally I just recycle those ones because those are the ones I don't actually use. I use the smaller ones for what I need to use it for. Which you don't need to know. Um so yes. And that's a weird tangent. Yes, I'm looking forward to making something like this, which I really should get to, because it's like, what, the, the 11th? Yes, the 11th of March, and Easter is the 31st of March. And obviously this video is probably going to be up in April, which is totally past. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. Well, nothing else to really say, really. Thank you for watching. Over and out.